Hello, and thank you for watching our ActiLife training video. This video will cover the data scoring tab in ActiLife. To begin, please open the ActiLife software and click the scoring tab at the top. Once the scoring window is open, you can proceed with adding your data set. Note that it is possible to process multiple data sets at one time. At this point, you have the ability to edit the columns being viewed in this tab with the Edit Columns option. This will allow you to add and remove any specific access outputs needed for your research. Once you've finished editing your columns, you can set up your data scoring parameters. To select your outputs, simply check the box to the left of each metric. Note that multiple metrics can be run during a single calculation. Your daily activity outputs include energy expenditure or kilocalories burned during data collection, METs or metabolic rate, cut points and MVPA that provide activity intensity level breakdowns and moderate to vigorous physical activity, bouts of sustained physical activity, sedentary analysis, and heart rate energy expenditure. After you've checked the boxes, you can scroll down next to each metric to access the different available algorithms. If you're unsure which algorithm best fits your research needs, you can click the blue question mark next to any of the available outputs. These hyperlinks will take you to our Actigraph help page where a complete description and citation of the algorithm can be found. With your daily outputs checked, you can proceed with processing the data set by clicking Calculate in the bottom center of the screen. Once the calculations are complete, the outputs will appear on the screen. You then have the ability to view a complete breakdown of the data set by clicking Details. When the data set has been calculated and reviewed, you can download the new calculated data set by simply clicking the Export option in the bottom right. You now have the ability to download the complete breakdown or just the data in the data scoring grid. We hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.